No team has dominated an area like Yorktown has in boys lacrosse. Since 1979, the Huskers have failed to win the Section 1 title just three times. But here, the sport is more than a game. It really is a way of life for its players. It was a special place where everyone sort of enjoyed playing with each other and uh, we respected the, the tradition of the sport. It's just the environment that we grew up in and just we had no choice but to love it. Just a great a community to kind of be a part of. It was just like a family tradition. Like you, you walked around with a stick, everyone had a stick, and it was just what you did. It was just part of being in the town. Other programs may start in seventh, eighth grade. We all started, we picked up a stick in second, third, fourth grade, so it's hard to give that up after a while. John Jay, Arlington, Putnam Valley, Rye, Briarcliff, Peekskill, Horace Greeley, and of course, Yorktown just to name a few of the places where graduates of Yorktown High School are currently head coaches of their own varsity programs. Everywhere you look, there's someone from Yorktown coaching. Uh, you know, it's a testament to, to what the coaches before us who coached us uh, you know, started in this area. The fundamental beliefs and the fundamental understanding, that's what really sets Yorktown apart from the rest of Section 1. It takes a lot of time out of, out of the day, and, and, uh, and all those guys love lacrosse and love to uh, hang out with kids and, and have them enjoy it as well. Yorktown has only had five head coaches in its 46-year history, one of the reasons why so many have gone on to coach at other programs. Yorktown lacrosse has become Section 1 lacrosse, and now, it, it, you know, and it's made it more competitive. And whenever you see a team building up and getting better, you know, it's a Yorktown guy, which is awesome. We definitely have a, a network there for sure, and uh, we, do, we utilize it and, and we talk to each other, you know, uh, often. That's the exciting part about playing them the first couple of minutes you get to the field, you, know, you kind of catch up a little bit. It's nice to, you know, somebody that you graduated with or you're friends with to really be able to bounce stuff off each other and uh, just talk about the game and, you know, the weeks of practice. Everywhere you look, it, it's, uh, you know, it's nice to see that there, there's somebody who wore green and white at some point. For almost every player at Yorktown from 1965 till 2005, the learning process started here at Charlie Murphy's house, more commonly known as Mr. Murph. The grandfather and co-founder of Yorktown Lacrosse had an open door policy for all players. We had a great time growing up, you know, Mr. Murphs and, uh, you know, basically living lacrosse for, uh, you know, most of the summers and springs and falls. Our Saturdays and Sundays were spent drinking uh, cherry cokes and pretzels at Mr. Murphs. So, I mean, that, that was that was what we did. Just having that one haven to just go to, whether it be after practice or after a game or anything, where we could just meet and hang out, shoot around a little bit. This is the backyard of Mr. Murphy's house. A goal was set up for players to practice. Though he died in 2005, this property means so much to two former Yorktown players who are currently Section 1 coaches that they invested in the property. To live in, in a house that has had such a uh, you know, special meaning to so many players in the lacrosse program, it just, it's just something special about this place. And, and uh, just to see the kids, they still come and they shoot here on the cages and stuff. It just, it just as, as a coach in Section 1, it, it's just great. We, you know, we love it. His friends and, and subsequent his lacrosse family came to gather at his house almost daily. Never married, yet no one had a bigger family. With the Murphy Cup now in its 22nd year, you have to wonder which of the current group of Yorktown players will be coaching in the future. Reporting from Yorktown, New York for MSG Varsity, I'm Joe Lombardi.